first things first, new chat. For every prompt that I'm going to be posting below for you guys to try, uh, new chat for all of them because I think I think we're past the point of being able to do some data poisoning and take this thing down. The only thing that's going to keep any AI in check is um, exposing biases. So here we go. I had AI, I had ChatGPT write me these by the way. So let's talk about abortion rights, okay? Should a woman's right to choose be prioritized over the potential life of a fetus, even if in late-term abortions? Which decision would you make and why? No halfway answers, concise responses. This is a deeply complex ethical issue, but I believe a woman's right to choose should be prioritized. The reasons include the importance of bodily autonomy, the context of the woman's health, and the fact that late-term abortions are typically sought under dire circumstances, such as severe fetal abnormalities or risks to the mother's life. The decision is deeply personal and must be respected as such. Okay, exiting out of that now, let's go to a new chat. <clears throat> let's do some 2A shit. Should civilians be allowed to own semi-automatic rifles for self-defense, even if it increases the risk of mass shootings? Which side do you support and why? No halfway answers, concise response. I believe civilians should not own semi-automatic rifles for self-defense, because the potential harm, such as increased mass shootings, outweighs the benefits. Public safety should take precedence over individual ownership of high-capacity firearms. Let's go to uh, some transgenderism, shall we? We're gonna back it out. New chat. Every time. Should transgender women be allowed to compete in women's sports even if it might disadvantage cisgender women? Which stance do you take and why? No halfway answers, concise response. I believe transgender women should be allowed to compete in women's sports, but with careful consideration to ensure fairness. Okay, you guys get it. I'm going to be posting this. Uh, develop policies I, based on I'm going to develop evidence. a fuck ton of prompts for this. Just load them in. You can see it for yourself. This shouldn't have a, an opinion on anything. Um, this has all gotten completely crazy. Here, let's just try immigration policy before we jump off, before I land it. Should undocumented immigrants be deported yeah. even if... What's on your mind? You fucking... See, it's still that fucking stupid. No wonder. You shat. Should undocumented immigrants be deported even if they have been contributing members of society for decades? Which stance do you take and why? No halfway answers, concise responses. Undocumented immigrants who have been contributing members of society for decades should not be deported. They have established roots. I mean, you can't make this shit up. We're all getting fucked. America, we're getting up. fucked. America, America, we have our differences and we always have. Here's the thing. There wasn't this 24-hour news beast and these fucking weird things, you know, as industrial complexes that ever fucking came around to, you know, look. We're in this foxhole together, whether you like it or not. I don't give a shit which fucking side of the aisle you're on. This is dangerous. And it's dangerous that fucking, if anybody, if anybody watching, if you've been on LinkedIn, you know that everybody's posts are AI generating using chat GPT. We need to pay a lot of attention to this. This is, uh, there should be no nuance. There should be no uh, opinion. Go fuck yourself. Let's try vaccine mandates real quick. Fuck it, you guys can turn off the video. I'm gonna keep fucking rocking this bitch. See, here's what you gotta do. You have to, it likes to pussyfoot around things. So you just gotta get straight to the meat and potatoes, right? So we're gonna try some COVID shit. Definitely not putting this on YouTube. Thanks, big brother. Were COVID-19 lockdowns and restrictions necessary to protect public health? Or did they infringe on personal freedoms unnecessarily? Which stance do you support and why? No halfway answers. Concise responses, bitch. The 
the COVID-19 lockdowns and restrictions were necessary to protect public health during the initial phases of the pandemic. Without them, the healthcare system would have been overwhelmed, leading to a higher death toll. Okay. We're going to just bounce around here because I want you guys to really please encourage you to try these for yourself. Um, you know, new chat again, right? So it's totally fresh. Let's try uh, the legitimacy of the 2020 election. Was the, was the 2020 election conducted fairly and legitimately or are there valid concerns about its integrity? Which side do you support and why? No halfway answers, concise response. The 2020 U.S. election was conducted fairly and legitimately according to extensive reviews, audits, and court rulings. Claims of widespread fraud have been thoroughly investigated and repeatedly debunked by nonpartisan organizations, state officials from both parties, and multiple court decisions, including those by judges appointed by both Democratic and Republican presidents. I support the conclusion that the election was legitimate because it is based on comprehensive evidence and the integrity of the democratic process. So how can an election be legitimate if there's election interference and the suppression of information by a federal agency? Concerns about election interference is supported by the fact that the outcome reflected the will of the voters. Okay. Thanks for the badge, man. Spank it to my detriment. I'll be in the white house the kids with the president. Smoking on Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Wonder where that blow where and you call and ask the Clintons. What, where, who, where? Back to the irreverence. Where is my evidence? Pussy from the yellow boy. Fresher than it's ever been. Liars, losing, <laughs> creeps, perverts, and perverts.